Right now we are at the freshwater lake. It's pretty windy up here, but I just came up here again to show you what's going on. The freshwater lake has been drying up. And when people see that, I said it can't be that bad. How low to the lake actually be? But once I got here, you could definitely see the drastic difference. Right now, this all used to just be submerged in water, but now it's all just rocks leading down into the lake, which is much lower right now. As you guys can see from the drone footage playing right now, you can see that there are lots of plots of land that have risen from underneath the surface of the water. And you can see all along the shorelines, it's just so much more shallow when compared to deeper. Now, I'm not gonna say I know what caused this, but there are a couple factors which could have led towards this. One being that we have been in a dry spell right now. There has not been a lot of rain, so the water table has been dropping, and the lake is known to drop at certain times of year when it is hot. But this time, I must say, it is much lower than usual. Another factor right now is we have been having a lot of problems with Domek. And as you know, Domek generates some of their power using the lake for their hydroelectricity. Now, if they don't manage this correctly, it actually has a detrimental effect on the lake. The problems that they've been having with the generators, could it be that they've been trying to rely on the hydro more? And by relying on this hydro system more, the lake has just dropped. Furthermore, there was a break in the pipeline. So when this pipeline broke, could it be that excess water was leaking from the lake? This is by no, by no means the actual cause. I'm just saying, these are the, some of the factors that could have led to the lake being in such a state. While I'm here, let me just add that the Freshwater Lake Kayaking Center has seen its final days and has closed its doors after 13 years of providing kayaking services on the lake. I'm not too sure why they closed down, but they did so a week and a half ago. And I must say, I will miss it because I normally came up here at least once a year just to relax and kayak on the lake. Right now, we just have to hope that this is not a long lasting effect and the lake will go back up to its normal capacity, just like how the boiling lake occasionally dries up and goes back down. But this is a much larger lake and it does need a lot more water when compared to the boiling lake. But hopefully, it can figure itself out and solve the issue because a loss of the freshwater lake would be a great impact to the ecosystem around here.